Vortex 2 departed from the hangar at CSWR headquarters on April 30th of 2010. While they were at the hangar, Vortex 2 was able to line a lot of new equipment and get preparations made for an even larger scale operation than they had in 2009. A lot of work went into the effort of staff in preparing the Doppler radar units uh, for the 2010 tornado season. Up in Boulder, Colorado, where the SWR's headquarters are, a lot of activity went on to adding new equipment and wiring new instruments so that tornado pods and Doppler radar trucks and other instruments, uh, mesonet vehicles, and a lot of uh, additional personnel that be used to deploy um, tornadic sensing instruments would be in shape in the field when you actually got on the road, which was going to occur very soon, and that was on the following day, which would be May 1st of 2010, where they entered the field for the first time of that season again this time with a much bigger complement of technology and greater resources and more experience than they had in the previous year when uh, Vortex 2 was uh, considered the armada of the high plains. CSW traveled on its way through Kansas um, in the direction of uh, storms that were present in Mid-East and position themselves in an area where all the ensemble, I guess we'd say, of Vortex 2 from various universities and foundations could join up eventually and arrive at a common place that would be beneficial for the team's effort to take off and move in a unified manner towards their target of tracking severe weather. The effort requires considerable amount of logistic planning and organization even in the field. Um, preparations were still being made and refinement to equipment so that operations would continue successfully once Vortex 2 were actually operational in a storm environment. Um, the team new complement of staff as well as previous members with a great deal of experience and a high deal of energy ready to go to tackle the new storms in the severe environment that be present in 2010.